Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Quentin from Capri. I just wanted to make a quick video to show this new feature update. It's a small one, but very powerful. A lot of people have been asking about the ability to be able to train uh, sessions where the assistant actually starts the conversation. So traditionally, when you're using the emulator, it's, you know, hey, like the contact starts the conversation. <laughs> And then the assistant takes over, responds, and, you know, you kind of keep going back and forth like that. And once the assistant responds, you can keep going back and forth. You can train it to say the correct response however you want. Um, and this is always, this is uh, pretty normal in what's been available so far. But now you can actually uh, start over from the beginning. So now I can change it from being the contacts message to the assistant message. Uh, and so from here, I can hit send. And then now it puts the message here on the contact side. Um, and now I can send the message as the contact. So that way, it is the same way as when uh, you're using the, uh, whenever you're using the workflows to actually send the automated message. And then, of course, you can make a more relevant response message. So I'm going to say, um, awesome, but I got the number right. Did you already get the guide or did you know? I'll update that and save that. And so now if I save this and I use the same opt-in message, which I'll usually do, Go here, paste that into here, change it to the assistant, hit send, and then say, yes, it, yep. Did you already get the guide or did you need me to send that over again? Also, I can help any uh, question, answer any questions you have about uh, DAS. So it was a little bit free thinking there, and I can change that if I want by just modifying it. Um, but you get the idea, you can actually continue to inject assistant messages. I can go here, go to assistant and click send, and there you go. So now you can create a much more thorough training process that looks a little bit more similar to what it might actually see in real time um, and uh, give it the ability to learn uh, a lot faster. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions.